But the, the next question I have here comes from Dacost, and they have a very quick, concise uh, question that comes to my mind occasionally, which is, why tree not produce logs after cave-in? Oh, well, um, because it didn't call the cut down tree function, I guess. I mean, uh, it's, it's, uh, like in the, in the, uh, I mean, I suspect what happened is that trees used to be one tile, right? And in the event of a cave-in, that tile would, um, generally either be scrunched or it would be the top tile, um, that would fall down and still I don't even remember like like in the old versions before the game had multi-tile trees if you undercut a tree tile and then like you you got rid of all the ground beneath it and then you sawed around it like in a cartoon and it dropped did the tree just remain standing which <laughs> is like you bulk and then just sitting there in that case you haven't lost the wood uh, but it's, I mean, it's deeply silly, but in that case, you haven't lost the wood. And so when we went to multi-tile trees, like cave-ins were kind of in the rear view mirror at that point, because when we went to 3D, the cave-ins became less important than they felt in 2D and such. And I think we just forgot or just glossed over that, like didn't didn't think about it um, uh, just because kind of because of the order of the way the features got added in. I think that's really all that happened. Wow. Developers certainly don't think of anything, everything, not in this game. I, I, I've definitely had that happen and wonder about it and then just like kind of figure that, oh, I guess they just got eviscerated like, you know, anything that's underneath the cave in was always my assumption. Yeah. But like when, it, when a yeah. tree is burning on the surface, like it'll collapse still, right? Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's just not, not great, not perfect. 